comfy milking that time for his squad. Yeah, so easy G. The boys over here getting things started right away, but now Team Caliber fighting back. That's Neslo picking up a two piece. He's going to be on a two kill streak, milking that clock as well, but now Sharp going to be that objective player here. So Neslo looking to pick up some kills. Now Team Caliber finally picking up the pace. Yeah, and that was a very quick turnaround for them as well. Of course, you can see Click trying to get back in the hill. Of course, Lurch showing up as well. He's going to get traded by Nameless, but Click has managed to get himself on the hill, if just for a moment. As you can see, TK right now completely flooding. Of course, those red arrows getting a pretty good spawn in Garage. They're going to be quick to counterattack. You can see both Miyagi and Lurch were right there taking down Sharp and Nesdog. Uh, of course, that rotation has already come in, and TK is going to be the first ones over there in full control of Green. Uh, but at the very least, Easy G for the moment has the lead. Yeah, no surprise here, Theory. Getting that last second nade, gonna get gobbled up by that trophy. So able to stay alive in this one. It's gonna be Neslo picking up another two piece in this situation. We're gonna stay on board with Neslo as he's continuing to milk this clock out. Now going to push out a lot of teamwork here for Team Caliber. Very surprising. Man, we gotta hop on board with Nesdog on a five kill streak, right? As I say that the caster curse is real, but very nice plays out of Neslo. Yeah, either way, they were able to, you know, come from a 10 point deficit and take a 10 point lead of their own. Of course, as that happens, Easy G is finally gonna be able to break through. Uh, but now it is going to be TK's turn on the attack. You can see two players flanking around blue, uh, but of course that's not even going to matter because the two coming right in the front were able to break through successfully and TK able to respond incredibly quickly. Yeah, I'm actually going to stay. Well, we'll hop over to Nameless while he's sitting in that hill, but now I'm going to hop back on board with Neslo. Neslo obviously going to go ahead and hit this rotation. Very impressive play out of him so far. Nine and five for his team acting as the main slayer, which is something that Team Caliber desperately needed with this roster, but obviously um, getting things done here moving forward. 51 and counting, but Easy G definitely holding on. Yeah, without a doubt, again, one of the best matchups we have seen so far this entire tournament, or at least that's my expectation going into. Of course, now URC TK does have control of this money hill, and they're trying to start build up the score. Of course, Neslo, oh. uh, we saw him go on a five streak earlier. Now he's going to have three to his name. He's sitting at 12 and five. Maybe the gamer tag switch for him uh, is exactly what he needed, is he is going to let it ride. Going to spot another player as well. Come back and challenge Miyagi, able to take him down, but not before Neslo was able to take four with him. Yeah, we're moving back to Neslo. We know he's outside of this hill, but he's going to make his way in on a four kill streak there before he got taken out looking for more as Neslo spotting a player in front of him that's just going to be a trade though so the easy G boys holding on still climbing trying to climb back in this one we got 10 seconds left and they'll how this hill I would suspect them uh, to try to get the remaining uh, of those the remainder of those points but TK not going to give those over too easily but now those rotations already starting to come in yeah so going over in yellow it is going to be about a 25 point differential between these two teams and of course TK were able to get the scrap time and now they're going to win that rotation battle as well as you can see theory on your screen is already milking that time of course TK players right now getting all the cutoffs for him theory is yet to even get in a single gunfight finally players going to jump in front of him of course, Stumpy right now was coming on the flank and cleaned up too, but he's going to get traded. And finally, we see Theory to get challenged. Of course, that is going to get dropped. Uh, Lurd also killed a teammate right there, which is very unfortunate because that is going to allow TK to continue to stay in this hill. Of course, you do see players flooding in from the front. Finally, EZG makes a move. Yeah, they're going to have to stay alive in this one. Right as I say that, base Miyagi going to go down and to who other? None other than Neslo. As I was trying to say, a 19 and 10 for his team. Now picking up the 20th kill. That's three in a row. Smells another player, not going to be able to pick that one up, but Neslo absolutely having a huge game for his team in this one. Oh. Base Miyagi, back smack, baby. That's a three-piece coming in for base, or a four, actually, on a four-kill streak now as Miyagi trying to pick it up for his team going into this last hill in this first rotation. Yeah, Miyagi literally just destroyed them, but they're going to have to have quite a few more plays like that to work themselves back in. Of course, now they're going to be down by about 50 points going into school, and again, TK is pretty much going to be that first team there, and no one from EZG right now is even contesting. Another team kill comes in for them. Of course, Stumpy able to break through, but it's just going to be for a moment. And we can see Neslo is able to pick up two. He's going to get the third. He's trying to respond to Miyagi's four piece with a four of his own. Of course, that last player is not going to challenge, but either way, uh, he is just a man on a mission. He's got bullets to blow at this point. Just going to go ahead and pre-aim that locker area. He knows he's got a few members from the enemy team. That's all members from the enemy team in front of him. Actually, he's going to go down sharp is going to go down as well in that hill. So a very strong push here from EZG. Stumpify trying to pick up a kill of Stumpy, excuse me, uh, but he is going to go down as well. So EZG members trying to do their best to staying alive. A lot of scrapping back and forth, but now it's Neslo on a three kill streak. 26 and 13 is Neslo for this team caliber team absolutely going off. Oh uh, yeah, he's on pace to break 50. He's absolutely on fire. And there you have it. After the first set of rotations, it is going to be TK. Not to too many people surprised. Uh, up by about 80 points here. And of course, they're going to be trying to end this one early as well. 
well, of course, on the first set of rotations. Uh, we did see that it was Easy Ju who was able to win this first hill battle. And of course, they're trying to do the exact same thing to try and get themselves back in. Click is going to be on a three streak right now while he's milking that hill time. Uh, Miyagi also going to be streaking it up as well, slaying outside that Ooh. hill. Four kill streak here for Click as he is going to try to bring this momentum and this heat that EZG desperately needs with 90 seconds and counting. They've definitely been able to keep it close, but Chance, it's no mystery here. They've really been losing out on these rotations and just dying on their way to the new hill. So we'll see if they can maybe improve on that stat going into the second hill of this last rotation. Now just over 15 seconds left to go. Still plenty of time to milk away as Miyagi trying to do so. A bunch of bunny hopping around in the hill trying to stay alive for his team right now as he picks up another one looking for a second not going to come down with it, Theory and Friends setting up for this new hill. Yeah, and this is honestly the same story of what happened last time. We saw EZG won that hill battle, but TK nailed them on the rotation, and they're already back again. And uh, weirdly enough, as far as the stat line is going, everything is very, very similar between, between the two teams, with the exception of Neslo, and he is so far beyond everyone else. It is completely ridiculous. Uh, the next closest person to him in terms of slaying is Nameless, and he's 10 kills behind, and we still have three minutes left to go. Yeah, ne uh, Neslo definitely on pace to hit this 50 bomb in this one. Also, got to show some love on the objective side of things. Nine captures for him as well as he's going to eat that grenade. Easy G. Really have to fight back in this one. It's not looking too grim just yet. Uh, they're doing quite well. As you said, ne uh, Neslo really just being uh, the defining factor here for Team Caliber. Yeah, and of course, we have 15 seconds left on this hill. You're going to see players starting to rotate in a minute. It looks like EZG is going to be able to successfully break through, but of course, that is only going to be for the final 10 seconds of scrap time. And of course, TK uh, already be going for that garage rotation once again. They won it the last time around, and you can see there's already four players working themselves in. Of course, Nameless on your screen is trying to get those cutoff kills, so he's going to lose that. So the spawns might potentially be going in favor of EZG as you see them flanking around, uh, but at least that early control for TK, and you see they're picking up the kills as well. Or Neslo trying to turn there. That's going to be nameless, though, inside of the hill. Very smart plays on these rotations. Definitely the story, a reason why TK is winning this one. That veteran play definitely shining through here. But EZG, very impressive gun skill coming out of this team, I have to say, so far in this one. Stumpy trying to get something going for his team as Lurd picks up a three-piece. Going to hop on board with him as he's looking for a fourth. Going to find it. Sharp goes down. Four kills in a row, 25 and 31 for Lurd. Just trying to get something going for his team, looking for another one, not going to come down with it. He's going to get pushed off. Theory also able to take a second one with him as he pushes in the back. TK trying to fight for this time. It looks like Nameless going to be the last one alive for his team uh, over in that area, potentially to give them the scrap time. Of course, one player left for EZG pushing. That's going to be Lurd. So Lurd actually going to give his team that scrap, uh, but that's exactly what they're going to need. They're down by nearly 60 seconds or a little bit more so. Uh, we only have a minute and 50 left in this game. So the rotation battle is going to have to be won by EZG as well, which they have done, but now they're going to have to get all of the kills while they're holding it down. Yeah, this one not too shabby here by Stumpy. Look to pick up a kill as he does sharp goes down in that situation very nice play here from easy g 156 and counting just around 50 seconds or so that they are down here they can definitely come back in this one as stumpy continuing to pour it on for his team 22 and 27 three kill streak as he finally goes down but base miyagi is home in order to try to stay alive he can't do it there. Theory challenging as well. Back and forth. Lurd now on the kill streaks 30 and 35 for his team. Yeah, Lurd going huge right there to be able to pick up two as soon as TK broke in. But of course, Nameless going to counter and get three of his own. But you see Miyagi's going to be able to get two. EZG able to retain control. Of course, they are still down by 40 seconds. 60 seconds left to go, but they have done a very good job working themselves back into this one. This is certainly within the realm of possibility. You can see the fight is already going down over by school. EZG has been getting the kills lately. They're going to have to get them all over here as well. Of course, it does appear that that is going to be three down in favor of TK. TK with the early control. Yeah, and it, that Lurd actually had the, the perfect setup. They finally hit those rotations, but just not able to stay alive in the hill, unfortunately, for them. And now as this one ticks down, that is going to be it. Mathematically impossible for EZG to win this one sharp. Going to do a little victory dance in the hard point. Very nice plays out of TK. 12 caps and 41 kills. Make that 42 for Nesdog. Absolutely stellar performance. Yeah, and honestly, because of his stellar performance, without a doubt, the difference maker. We saw towards the end, things were getting interesting, both on Garage and that last Yellow Hill. Easy G really started to crank up the pressure. Obviously, it wasn't enough in the end, uh, but again, we saw earlier the stat line was very similar between seven of the eight players on the map. It was just Neslo was completely going off. He was on pace for 50, slowed down a little bit, and Easy G started to get themselves back in, but of course, in the end, TK, a little bit too strong. I have to point something out. Before, before this series started, Neslo walked right by us, and he goes, hey, show me a little bit of love. 
and walked up to his chair. So that's to both of us. So there it is, Neslo. There's your love. 43 and 30. Plus 13 for his team with 13 caps to his name. Definitely the difference maker in that one. Very, very impressive play from Team Caliber. No surprise here at uh, here at MES 25K. Going into map number two uh, is going to be pretty exciting to see. Basically the same stuff here. That KD ratio 1.43 coming in there for Neslo. Yeah, and of course, Nezlo, even with the seven defense, so he was winning all of the important gunfights as well. You know, uh, I did talk to a few people asking about predictions, what they thought was going to happen in this match. And of course, everyone was pretty much saying, you know, TK 3-0, maybe a 3-1. Uh, and everyone that said, you know, the 3-1, they said S and D, uh, I think EZG, if they can bring their A game to the table, they're going to be able to take TK down in that. Of course, TK not intent on letting that happen. Of course, they're going to be trying to go as aggressively as possible, carrying the momentum uh, into these later matches. But of course, uh, this is definitely a map to look out for for EZG to potentially be able to take one off of them. Yeah. We're going to go into game number two, which is going to be Biolab S&D. And I believe we're going to try to do it without going to commercial because commercials are lame. Commercials are pretty lame. It really depends on the situation. Like, I've always hated commercials my entire life until I became a caster. And then I was like, you know what? I can appreciate and get behind them. But obviously, uh, so far at MES, we've actually, I think, been doing a very good job of, uh, of just yeah. in between maps, uh, at most taking, you know, two, three minutes in between. It's been doing a fantastic job. We got to give a huge shout out to our production team and just all the staff here at MES. So incredible. I got to say, you know, it's a very short staff here in production. Uh, and Adam and AJ, the two guys we got working everything in the back, have been doing phenomenal uh, with their, you know, because it's not it's not easy. For those of you at home, you, if you don't really know too much about what goes into making one of these events run, it's a lot of hard work. A lot of hard work from a lot of different people. So a big shout out to everybody here at MES and all the staff. They've been so incredible. They've been making uh, our jobs a whole lot easier. And it's just been a really fun time here at MES. Yeah, without a doubt. So far, this is my favorite event that I've been to. Like, had a great time. A lot of crowd interaction going on as well. Talked to quite a few different people. Like, even, like, random kids are, like, running around yeah. the event. It was like, it's throwing me off. Like, not prepared for that at all. But, again, without a doubt, incredibly uh, incredible event we've had so far. Uh, hopefully now the Call of Duty is going to be able to bring their side to the table. Of course, this is one of the closest matches I think we've seen at all on main stage so far. Of course, it was, you know, a 40-point differential or something like that between the teams. So, TK, of course, uh, with the slight edge. But, potentially, we're finally gonna see maybe a map four maybe i think so i think so uh you know we did go to the last hard point in that game which is the first time that's happened so i'm really excited it's one thing uh, a lot of amateur talent coming out to this mes event which is what mes has seen in the past but now we're starting to see these pro teams show up uh, and all these players who've been working so hard to make uh, names for themselves uh, here in Advanced Warfare with only a few events left to go in this one. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see maybe who is trying to break out and say, hey, you know, before the PS4 comes out, before all these PS4 warriors take my spot, uh, let me make a name for myself. Yeah, without a doubt, it will be interesting to see if any of the PS4 guys are going to kind of like jump into the pro scene as we've seen some it's other players happen. do. It's like, inevitable. Yeah, yeah it's your Huke, your Tamp, your Oxy, oh, yeah. all the new guys that are kind of like oh, in yeah. that rookie class, whether or not when PS4 comes out, maybe there's been guys that have been running game battles, tournaments, s and tourneys, anything going on over there that potentially will be able to work themselves in the scene. Of course, you're still going to see uh, the majority of the pro players going to be the same, but definitely going to be an interesting factor uh, coming into Black Ops 3. Maybe some PS4 Warriors on Gamer Saloon. They've been grinding over there on Gamer Saloon, you know, everybody's been like, oh, GB this, GB that. They come out of nowhere, making plays, baby, making plays. Gotta make plays. Also, uh, I do have a fun story about Miyagi, you know, can I have story time with Tanch? Uh, Chance, uh, one of the first players I've ever seen dolphin dive. No idea if he was even on purpose. This was at the very beginning of the game cycle. It was actually one of Nade Shot's videos uh, where he was in the garage area, turned around, got the turnovers. That's the first time we ever seen him. It's actually base Miyagi. If you go on the guy's Twitter, uh, it's actually that clip of him, like that picture uh, of him in like midair dolphin diving. <laughs> of course, now going into S and D, you see Theory is going to get dropped for that first pull. That kill is going to get traded, but Stumpy able to get a trade as well. So the man advantage very quickly going in favor of EZG. Yeah, 3v2 situation. Neslo and Nameless, the only ones left alone, but Neslo going to win that one-on-one. -on -one. Very smart decision to just back out of that one. Now that things are all knotted up here in this 2v2 situation, Nameless and Neslo closing in together. We got the two guys over at EZG quite a distance apart. 
Neslo finally getting that bomb down now, so plenty of time left, but it looks like he might want to go ahead and put this one down. He does. Yeah, and he's not wasting any time. Of course, 40 seconds left in the round, but as soon as this gets down, uh, it's going to put all of the pressure on EZG, and you can see those players across that map making moves. Also, you're going to get trapped in there as yeah, well. Stumpy, stuck. though, going to see two different players jumping up to challenge. Name is Miyagi coming from the side to get that kill. Of course, now Miyagi going to be going against, against Neslo, and Neslo has been on fire. TK up one to nothing. Sharp giving his teammate a nice little smile. Good stuff there, Neslo. Nice plays out of Neslo so far in this one. 3 0 to start it off on a three kill streak. Neslo is a man on a mission. He's been really cocky this weekend, but the way he's been playing, he deserves to be. I mean, he's been backing it up too. He has a very intense look on his face. Every single time I've spoken to him, it just looks like it, he looks like he's looking through my soul uh, every time. <laughs> of course, now it is going to be Easy G back on offense, trying to counter uh, and tie this up one to one. And they're going to be doing more or less what TK did going. Hey, by the way, TK already got complete control of the B bomb site. They're going to be going on the flank and rotating back to A very, very quickly, oh. but still a three v three. Yeah, we do have a TK member. That's going to be Theory in mid bio, and another one on the flank. That was Neslo. Picking up that kill on Lurd there. The bomb will go down. Miyagi all left in a 1v3. He's getting snuffed out there, and there's the gas, and the barrel's getting exploded. That's the worst way to die. Yeah, and there was just so much confidence from TK there as well. I mean, again, they got control of that B bomb site incredibly quickly. Wasted no time. Sent one player back around to rotate to help his buddy out over by that A bomb site. Neslo just sprinted across the entire map on the flank. Wasted zero time, trusting himself to win any gunfight he would be in. Uh, and of course, the remaining player was cutting through mid-map as well. So they had EZG completely trapped in, and of course, just picked them off one by one but again TK playing with all the confidence now going back on offense Ooh. it worked for him last time and now you see Neslo even going straight down in that Neslo's gonna pick up the bomb on this one and actually get taken out so that mix up maybe not the best idea though he did get stunned out so very nice plays out of easy G is Stumpfy Stumpfy trying to pick up the kill there but now base Miyagi all left alone yet again this looks familiar yeah, exactly what happened last round, more or less. Of course, that player just going to jump right next to him. Uh, I think he might have even gotten a bit of stomp action in there. But again, TK up three rounds to none. Uh, I was saying earlier, Easy G, uh, their best look is going to be able to take TK down on S&D. And TK does not care at all about that. They have just looked incredibly well. Uh, not dropped a round at all, and they've done so in dominating fashion every time. Absolutely. Three to zero. Quick lead here for Team Caliber. No surprise, 5-1. and one. Neslo over there just continuing his hard point dominance, overlapping into this search and destroy. But let's hop on board with Lurd and friends over at EZG, trying to make something out of nothing here in this situation. they got to put some points on the board. Yep, and you see Miyagi going to be able to get that first blood, so EZG going to have that advantage. It's happened to him before, and they weren't able to convert it this time, though. Here you're going to get a pick. Miyagi going on the trade. Uh, it looks like he was able to get that as well, or at least get the assist, and then everything just cast aids as quickly as possible. EZG finally able to get a round win on the board and potentially have at least a little bit of momentum in their favor. Yeah, that was a nice play there by Miyagi, picking up the assist and then spotting Sharp right away. Pinpoint shots to the chest going to take him out. So very nice plays out of Miyagi. Five and three for his team on a two kill streak. Just what they needed. You definitely want to get some points on the board before you get to. You don't want to go down four no uh, in a search and destroy uh, nonetheless. But that's going to be team caliber back on offense. Let's see if Neslo decides to go for that. Nope. No, uh, no fancy stuff. No, no tricks here. Theory going to be your bomb carrier. Yeah, back to normal for DK. Of course, they are going to that A bomb site. There's going to be one or two players over there for Easy G. And you see players are already rotating around, shooting out the barrels uh, just for covers. But of course, Click going to get snuffed out for that first blood. That time by the hands of Nameless. And of course, Theory going to get that bomb point. You see stuns are going to be coming in. Lurd potentially going to go for that challenge. That's going to be the case. He's able to make it a three v three, but still, bomb is down. And now Lurd trying to stay alive as he does pick up a kill on Neslo as he's running right past him. So now Sharp again left all alone, but he is going to pick up a kill, trying to find another one, not going to do it. That's going to be Miyagi jumping on that defuse. Very, very nice defensive round from EZG. Yeah, EZG looking good, especially to be able to counter. Going down 3-0 is so tough to do. Uh, and again, I've said it multiple times this tournament. I like when teams are able to maintain their composure. We've seen uh, so many blowouts in search as well. We've seen so many 6-0s, 6-1s, and 6-2s. Uh, I think the most competitive one actually might have been a 6-2 on main stage, unless I'm forgetting. Yep. But either way, again, EZG countering back, trying to mix things up a bit as well. And of course, now they're going back on offense. Uh, they were able to pull off the win last time around uh, when they were on the offensive side trying to do the exact same thing again here and nothing too special in the classes right there for EZG just trying to get it done real classic like Lurt going to be here at mid bio with this bomb looking to maybe spot one of these cuts in one of these flanks and now from TK we got one player 
That's going to be Theory hanging out over in the B area, trying to spot a player and pick one up. Does find one, tagging him up, is going to find Click and take him out. Another player right in front of him. Theory is going to need some assistance from his team. Now everybody doubling back now. Is that is going to be uh, Nameless, or no, I'm sorry, Neslo uh, for his back there. And now Stumpfy actually picking up a kill on his teammate. That's not going to help him win a round. Uh, no, that not necessarily cost them a round as they did get first blood as well. That's just going to make it infinitely more difficult, leaving a teammate in a 1v4. Uh, and of course, your location was pretty much given up as well. So yeah, TK definitely not going to let that one slip through the craps cracks excuse me and of course you know we were just talking about how easy g was able to maintain their composure uh, and then they kind of have a silly error like that of course you never want to stomp on a teammate's head there is not a single instance that i think can ever come up with call of duty down. that's what i'm fair. saying you yeah. could just do so many other things but of course uh, they go from maintaining their composure to kind of tossing around away uh, and of course tk is going to take advantage of every mistake that comes their way uh, and they've also been doing a very good job on offense as well outside of that last round uh, now though they're switching things up and going to be this B push looks like it's going to be in the hands of Neslo every time so far in this one. But this time, Neslo's not going to get stunned out. He's going to be able to stay alive. But that's Miyagi with the first blood of the round. He's going to be right above these players here at B. Looking for another one as he does spot him, but he is going to get taken out. So now let's hop back on board. Neslo, the player's been the man to watch in this one. He is going to pick up another kill. Theory finding one as well. So now Lerd all left alone finding Neslo. That's the last player you want to find. He has been hype. Getting it done for his team, 5-2, to two, Team K, only one round went away. Yeah, that was another one where it was a 3v2 with the advantage being in the hands of EZG, and they were just not able to convert. That's the second time we've seen their lack of conversion, uh, as well as, of course, last round, they kind of threw it away uh, with a team kill. So a bit of sloppiness coming out of these guys. Of course, trading is one of the most important, if not the most important aspect uh, of S&D on Advanced Warfare. And, of course, TK, again, will take advantage of every single mistake uh, that comes their way, and now they are just one round away from closing this one out. Looking like it's going to be Easy G making this B push. TK is home this time. No surprises on this offensive round for Easy G, at least not from TK. And that nade going to come in and take him out. That was going to be Neslo. Very nice grenade. Miyagi falling as well. So now TK smells blood. Click the last member alive. He's got to get it done for his team, or that's going to end it. And there it is. Team Caliber taking the sixth round, winning six to two and leading the series now 2-0. Yeah, TK just looking incredible. Again, so many 3-0s we saw get predicted here. And again, you even see Neslo letting it ride. He finished on a five streak, looked completely dominant in the hard point as well. I think he dropped like 43 kills. Uh, so he's been putting in massive work. And again, uh, if you were predicting the 3-0 from TK, you got to be feeling good right now. Even if you predicted the 3-1 again, uh, that was basically letting S&D kind of be that factor. And of course, TK just showed their dominance right there as well. Uh, of course, going into Uplink, we've seen the teamwork coming from them. They were consistent trading in S&D, uh, so I feel like they're going to be able to bring the exact same thing into the table. Absolutely. Uh, as you said, no surprises here from Team Caliber. Playing very, very well in this one, guys. While we have a little bit of time, we had a player run to the bathroom. It was Neslo. He uh, actually has to drain his swag because it's been leaking all over the stage. But while we wait on Neslo to get back, guys, let's talk a little bit about our sponsors. Uh, okay, sure. So first of all, Cinch, uh, a very good sponsor for that. Of course, they have the new controller coming out again. You'll be able to see uh, that reveal, I believe, 2 p.m. Eastern tomorrow during this stream. Uh, of course, I've actually had a chance to use the controller. I've never played on PS4 before, uh, but I've actually had a great deal of fun with it. Of course, I'm terrible at Black Ops 3, uh, but the controller, it just felt so natural. And of course, another sponsor we have, Jerky. First time I've ever had jerky, ever. I'm so like, glad jerky, I got to do that for you in Paradox. And again, I went up and talked to the guy, and I was like, all right, just tell me the best flavor was. Uh, he told me teriyaki, absolutely delicious, best flavor of, like, jerky. I mean, granted, I wasn't, like, a huge jerky fan going into right. it, but, like, you pretty much have me sold already. It's incredible. The honey barbecue is absolutely insane. It's so, so good. Uh, and then another thing that we want to talk about, obviously, with DX Racer, um, being a big, big part of what everybody does here at MES. We already gave Gamer Saloon uh, some love on their end as well. If you guys are unfamiliar with that, make sure you hit them up. Neslo getting a standing ovation here as he's taking his seat. Very, very impressive stuff. It's actually pretty hilarious. He walks back in the venue and we got a handful of people just clapping and cheering on and Neslo's just laughing at him. It's just a very weird situation to be in there. You can see all eight players back in line, of course. Sharp, uh, another one of the fan favorites. I even hear a couple I love you Sharps going on in the crowd <laughs> as well. Sharp, you know what, man? I love you too. Nothing but love over here in the caster's desk for Team Caliber. They've been playing so well. Uh, I've, and I, you know what? 
I've been a, I've been a, I'm not even gonna lie, I've been a TK fan for a long time. Just a very awesome, very recognizable brand. We love the guys over at TK. You want to see them succeed uh, as a fan for sure. So it'd be nice to kind of see them um, show up here in this one. And obviously we have uh, some teams like Envy who are probably the fan favorite to win this one. Um, but if you think otherwise, make sure you guys are sending us your predictions. Tweet at me and Chance, also at, M at MES Events. Use, make sure to include that hashtag, MES25K. And we'll be sure to feature your tweets and your predictions here on stream. Yeah, and of course, uh, you mentioned Envy. Uh, I'm pretty sure these two teams, the winner of this, assuming you know TK and Envy are able to win their next two rounds, which most people would agree that they will have a very good chance on doing so. I believe they're going to be facing off in round five. Uh, so whether or not we get to that tonight or that's going to be a tomorrow sort of thing, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but either way, that is just going to be another thing to look out for. Yeah, absolutely. Biolab Uplink going to be map number three as well in this one. So. Pretty excited to watch this uplink. We've seen Detroit uplink a lot so far in this tournament. I would say, what are your predictions for this one? I think I pretty much know, but talk to us about what what we could possibly see different in bio uplink compared to Detroit. I mean, is there say, anything? Uh, any differences? Yeah. Uh, Biolab, a lot more close range engagements uh, in the mid map area, of course, uh, once you're trying to cut through. But either way, the SMGs are going to be a huge factor. Uh, and so I'm actually going to make the prediction that EZG is going to be able to take this one away if Neslo doesn't okay. continue just the complete destruction okay. that he has well, been able to bring Neslo's to the table. Neslo's looking right far. at you, and uh, he heard yes. you say that. So I hope he, he did, um, but. You're, you messed up, I think because I wouldn't want to make him angry right now because uh, he is crazy. But uh, yeah, so Neslo going to continue to pour it on here for Team Caliber. Team Caliber fans, let me hear you if you're in the crowd. Make some noise, everybody. We got map number three, Biolab Uplink, getting this one started. EZG has been really good in this tournament so far. We've uh, Obviously, they have a really tall task here with Team Caliber in front of them. They obviously want this to... Uh, they, they want this one to turn around. Do you think that they're going to take this? We got some Neslo chance happening in the crowd right now. I mean, we do have some Neslo chance, but again, I think EZG might actually be able to take this one again. Players to watch are definitely going to be Lurd and Miyagi for this squad. Uh, again, Lurd, another fantastic objective player, very aggressive uh, with the ASM1. You always see him getting in a ridiculous amount of engagements, and right off the bat, it's actually going to be Stumpy, able to take Neslo down for that first blood. And it's going to be Nameless picking up a kill of his own. A few more kills coming down here. The drone not touched just yet. Nameless knows that he needs to get control of this area. But now in this respawn, Miyagi looking to turn up for his team. He's been really, really good. Probably the player to watch for, in my opinion, so far uh, in this one for EZG. Click, obviously being that new acquisition. Uh, they've only been playing with him for a few days. So naturally, that's going to uh, make things a little bit more hard, a little bit harder, if you will. But several members from Team Caliber going down. There's a very, uh, there's four members down. So a team ace for a very brief moment there in this one. And now EZG looking to try to put some points on the board. Yeah, of course, something with the drone right now. But there's a player that Ooh. came on the flank. He was able to get the pass to click. Though. After click, got a kill. That's going to be a dunk for EZG. The perfect play coming out of them. They got all four down. They made it work. They sent two. Two players on the flank and they ran with the drone very nice start out of them we're going right back to miyagi as soon as he spawns he was six and oh with the nastiest pass i've seen very very nice plays easy g getting on the board first they heard the neslo chance and they said we got to put a stop to this but team caliber very composed pro team looking to just you know slow things down a little bit get everything, all the momentum back on their side. Lurd going with the pass actually into the base of uh, TK. At the very least, he was being very sneaky. There was three players surrounding him again. Just got that punch and immediately threw it out and at least bought his team time to spawn up. Uh, I thought there might have been a player for EZG going on the flank to try and make that work. Of course, that was not the case. And now TK going to be right back on the attack. Of course, Nameless trying to nade some balls and he is eventually going to get cut down. Of course, Miyagi there to pick up more kills. He's going to be able to pick up two. He's going to get the third as well. Miyagi is absolutely on fire right now. And now they're rotating around. You See, they're already getting the off the cutoff kills as well. Yeah, Miyagi looking to be this lead blocker here, but Click wants to make some plays, but he's going to whiff it. It's just going to go right over the uplink station, so it's not going to score any points here. But Lurd wasting zero time. His team has got an advantage here. A few members inside the enemy base, they're going to get taken out as well. So now Team Caliber pushing out. Theory says it's my turn. Eight and four for his team. 
picking it up, picking up the slaying pace for his uh, squad. Of course, Nameless did just have two teammates fall. He's going to fall as well, but he's going to be able to connect with that one point toss, and that's the difference between these two teams. It seems, again, TK will capitalize on all of the mistakes that were made, and we saw Click earlier. Uh, he ended up missing that one point toss, and that is incredibly costly. So instead of a 3 0, uh, we are now going to be seeing a 2 1, of course, Lurd with that drone in hand. Again, just going to toss that into the base of TK, just trying to waste time. But Nameless just says, Thank you. Now I'm going to be rotating it around, and Theory's going to be getting those intro kills. Nameless, 3-7 and seven for his team. The objective mind, very smart player. He knows he's got the one-point play, but it's going to get picked off by Miyagi. 13-6, and six, and he's got a turnover on his belt. And another pass coming into Click, but Click going to get chopped down. Team Caliber catching on much faster this time around. No two-pointer for them. Yeah, Miyagi almost was able to per get the person that killed Click as well and get that dunk in. He got stopped his goal line as well. Now Click's actually going to be coming back. Kills his he teammate. Worse. Doesn't make a difference. Is still able to get the dunk in. They had an insane amount of pressure in the base of TK. They had to work for it, but they were able to fight it in, and they're going to be able to take a 4-1 to lead. Hashtag worth. I'll stomp you out if we can get a two-pointer all day long. Easy G. Finally. Showing some life here in this series as Lurd going to get dropped there with the drone. Two members alive here for TK. Team Caliber has got to put a stop to this momentum. They do not want this one to go in the opposite direction because you win an uplink and all of a sudden you have all this momentum going in and you're going right back into a respawn. So tough, tough gig here for TK. But nonetheless, like I said, they've been a very, very composed team for a very long time. So I do expect them to continue to keep this one competitive. And frankly, the difference maker appears to be Nezlo. This is the one game where we haven't seen him going off yet. And of course, now we have Base Miyagi. He's double positive and he's going off as well, uh, even getting interceptions. But again, Nezlo slowed down. Uh, now EZG showing some life. And this is even with a teammate that is 4 11. Of course, Nameless is a slow start as well. But now the kills are coming in. Click is stomping on people. Base Miyagi with the drone, going to be trying to get in at least one point toss. And he's not going to miss that. They're going to go up 5 to 1. Very nice play out of Miyagi. The movement. He had no team in sight and he was able to stay alive and put the one pointer on the board that is just going to be TK's fault basically in that situation they had everybody alive on their side still letting a one point play through Lurd and Click picking up a few kills of their own and now all of a sudden EZG trying to set up another one again Stumpfy has a player under him and right in front of him able to stay alive trying to line up the one point play not going to come through Miyagi is in the vicinity might be able to put it through but that defense coming in heavy for Theory that goal line stop very huge play. Yeah, maybe EZG would have been able to get off a one point toss at the end there, but it's not really going to make too much of a difference, at least not for the first half. Uh, and there you can see you mentioned the great defensive stop. Theory just put himself in perfect position uh, to make sure he got any uh, you know, players that were coming in to get that last second score. But either way, EZG looking pretty good on uplink. Miyagi looking even better. They are going to have the lead going into the second side, what many would consider to be the better side. Miyagi, if you can hear us, this is you, buddy. You got to turn up for your team. Make the plays happen. 18 and 10. He's been phenomenal so far in this one. 5 to 1. They've got a nice cushy lead, but Team Caliber still in this one. Miyagi picking up a kill here in mid bio. His team looking for that control, but Lurt going to be the last one alive, and now it's Team Caliber show. And Nezlo is also on a three streak, and we've already seen what that guy can do when he gets caught. Of course, Lurt right there with that two piece, able to take him down, but still Theory on top purple right now with the drone. They got quite a few players from EZG to beat, uh, and Theory's just going to kind of accept that. Actually, going to pass that to his teammate all the way in the base. Not sure if anyone from EZG is going to recognize this. Lurt trying to pick it up. Sharp's going to oh, be there for the nice kill, play. but that did get tossed off the map. Lurt doing a nice job to save his team from two points. Lurd gonna just swing in there, grab that drone, toss it out. Very, very nice play. That was definitely a two-pointer had he not come up clutch there. But now Theory trying to set up the offense in this situation. Gonna toss a couple of stuns out. He's got a teammate in front of him. It just died actually. So now gonna just have to wait this one out. Not really gonna be able to go anywhere with this one. He doesn't have that mid building uh, to anchor off of either. So very smart play here by Theory to just kind of milk this one out. He's, he's got to get some teammate help. Yeah, and as you say that, that is going to be three down in TK's favor. Of course, the player's already spawning up for EZG. Also, a player from TK going on the oh. flank. I think that's actually sharp. Of course, the drone carrier is going to fall by Theory's hand, but Nezlo going to be the next guy coming in. He's going to be able to pick up two. Miyagi just trying to get that drone off the map. He's going to be successful. Another successful oh defensive my. stand and base Miyagi just destroying this game. Absolutely huge for his team making a very nice play playing that drone and then turning and burning that player five to one stands your score still up by a few possessions is easy g 
very, very nice composure out of them as they've kept this team alive so far. The offense has oh, been so strong, and yet God. again, Miyagi making a play, getting rid of that drone, able to pick up the kill. That's two members from Team Caliber down. Make that three as now it's Easy G continuing to keep this one on their terms, which is exactly what they have to do. If they win this one, we're going to map number four. And that is going to be, again, the first time we've seen it. Of course, now Lurd going to have that drone in hand. Actually, uh, him and two teammates are going to fall. Click's going to be the last one alive, but TK uh, looks like they're going for the long wrap. As you can see, they are already getting players to get those cutoff kills. Of course, that is going to be Theory that falls, but uh, Neslo here at least could probably get a one-point guaranteed toss in. Uh, like but it looks route. like they're going to be fighting for two. Nameless picks up two. He's going to be able to get oh. that in. No, Stumpy with the stop. Neslo, your Nameless, excuse me, going to be able to pick up all four. Kills four people, gets the dunk in, reducing the deficit now just to two points. Very, very nice play there by Nameless. Very patient play by Nameless to put that one on the board. Now just a one possession game to knock things up. Only down by two points as we're watching Sharp picking up some kills here in mid-bio. His teammate Nameless again with the drone. Been very, very good so far in this one. The two-minute warning. We've hit it. Just under two minutes left to go. TK still trailing. Nameless trying to make something happen with that drone. He's had it in his hand for the past 30, 45 seconds. Just hasn't had the teammate support yet, but now it's coming in. That's two down in their favor. He's going to be able to get into yellow turret building, of course. There's a lot of one-point tosses you can pull off from this angle, but you can see his teammates are right there. Nezlo going to be able to pick up two kills, but Miyagi going to be there for the shutdown. Miyagi has been so good about time of possession for his team, keeping that drone out of play and keeping it out of the team caliber possession. And it's been the factor, the biggest factor here in this one, 25 and 19 for his team. Four scores here for Click, which has been a big part of what they've been trying to do in this one so far. But now Team Caliber definitely have the time to put this one in. They can definitely knock this one up and send it into overtime or even win the game. Neslo, he's been the man this series. He's got the drone in hand, but he is going to fall. There simply was just not enough players from TK. We saw Stumpy was able to pick up two. Now Easy G going to be able to go on this counterattack. They're wrapping it around green. The kills are all going in their favor. Lurid, he thought about getting the one-point toss, recognized nice. what was going on, made sure to get that dunk in. Now a two-possession game. TK is going to have to pull something insane to make this comeback. The communication shining through for Easy G. He knew he had the one-pointer. Teammate said, hey, you got it. We can get this two-pointer. They put it in very, very big heads-up play there. Ooh. But now the stop coming from Ooh. Click. Nice melee. He's going to connect, toss that drone out. EZG clicking on all cylinders. And that is such a huge play. He had to get that stop, and he had to get that off the map in a very short span, and he was able to do exactly that. Uh, and of course, now just 18 seconds left. This is looking like nothing but EZG. Uh, and again, we just have to give so much love to Miyagi. He was going off. Uh, Click, by the way, he started out about 2-11. and 11. He's able to finish on top of the scoreboard for his team uh, and bring that within negative 6, as well as having four uplinks to his name. Uh, so maybe not the greatest of starts, but a phenomenal finish. And we even saw a clutch stop toward the end but finally on main stage we do see our first game four matchup absolutely finally it's gonna be one of our underdogs winning map number three very very nice plays here that's gonna be Miyagi based Miyagi with the final kill cam he was so big for his team on that first side really really changed the pace and, and swapped the momentum for his team yeah, without a doubt. And now we got to imagine how far this momentum is going to go. Obviously, the first hard point uh, we saw it, early on, it was nothing but TK. Again, Neslo started off. He was on pace to drop more than 50 kills, uh, but then eventually got to the point where in the later hills, EZG started to chip away at the lead a, a little bit. And, and in the end, they ended up losing by about 50, 60 points, and TK did look pretty strong. Of course, then in the S&D, TK just completely ran through him. But now that we've already gotten all the way back to where we're going into another hard point, is EZG going to be able to use this momentum as they did towards the end of the first map uh, and get the victory or is TK just going to come back and put the pedal to the metal and end it right here? I think what it comes down to is what Neslo is going to be able to do. What Neslo did in that first hard point made it so hard for the other team to stay relevant in the hills. But most importantly, I got to show Nameless some love. We watched a little bit of him in that first hard point. He had all the cutoffs taken care of. Their, their rotations were very poor because he was keeping them out of, those cutoff, out of that cutoff range. So Definitely Team Calibert playing phenomenally well in this hard point, but the story is easy. G fighting back, winning map number three, going into map number four. And Chance, I think that we got to stay on board with EZG. I mean, you want to go Neslo, but 
Let's hop on board with Miyagi. Let's see if he can take this momentum into map number four. Without a doubt. And also, you have to keep in mind, he is going to be that ASM1 player. So uh, potentially on certain hills, look out for you know his teammates to step up with the bows, uh, especially like on that bar hill with all those long range oh. engagements. But Miyagi, good pick right off the back. He's going to be able to get two. His team is going to have the early lead already racking up the score at 9 to 1. Very, very nice play from Miyagi. Thank you so much for making me not look like an idiot, my friend. Three kills in a row there for Miyagi as he finally goes down. But Stumpy looking to put that bow to good use as he picks up a kill of his own. The hard point very heavily contested here from EZG, and they're coming up and making plays. Without a doubt. They're, TK, though, going to be in the hill right now. Of course, Sharp trying to milk that time. Got a few gunfights as well. He's going to eventually get cleaned up by Click again. Uh, the bow players, Stumpy and Click, going to be the guys to look out uh, for the squad of EZG. Of course, now Miyagi flying back. Back in the hill, just making it work for him. He's already had a nice start again. Got the first three kills in a row. Now he's four and three, of course. TK with that three down. Going to be able to get the strap time, but the rotation has come in. Phenomenal. There it is. That was the biggest reason why you came up short in the first hard point. Hitting those rotations. This one, it's going to be successful. Stumpy with the two-piece. We're going to stay on board with Miyagi as he has been so, so monumental and uh, so huge for his team here in this one. He's going to milk this one out, but Stumpy. 8-4 and four for his team, leading the game with the most kills, but Miyagi finding a player, spotting oh, two. There's the two-piece from Miyagi, reloading that ASM-1, and now it is the EZG show. Ladies and gentlemen, they are coming out on fire. That is now six kills in a row in their favor of Force Sharp, finally making a difference, but TK struggling to get in this hill to even contest. Finally, it happens, but then as soon as that happens, they run into base Miyagi, and he has been a brick wall. Of course, Lurd also going to be on a 5 streak right now. These two players are heating up a lot. Lurd picking up more kills. Everyone showing up in the kill feed right now for EZG. They are able to get out to a very nice lead. Uh, they're going to be up by about 55 points going to lobby, and you can see they are already fighting for their rotation. Lurd finally going to get dropped, but still the rotation battle uh, going to be going down here shortly. Yeah, it looks like TK finally going to win one of those rotations. Team Caliber being the smart team that they are, they knew that there was no need to continue to push that turtle hill. They got to lock this one down, and that's exactly what they've done. Sharp rocking the ASM1 here, going to pick up a few kills along with Nameless. Neslo doing his best to keep this one alive. They've got quite the deficit to climb back from, which is something that most of us probably didn't expect, but EZG definitely using their momentum to their advantage. Yeah, and they're trying to contest and potentially break this hill as well. Of course, DK done a very good job on outslaying their opponent on this hill, and the exact same thing happens there. Again, they were down by about 50 points. They've already cut that down to 30, uh, and they're looking really good to even pull the last 25 seconds. EZG has been struggling just to contest, and that's another three down in favor of TK. EZG, they've got to, it's got to click here very soon, no pun intended, that they've got to hit these rotations over to the bar hill very soon. They can't continue to contest this one. We'll hop on board. It looks like a few players have already done that. Miyagi, no surprise here. Very smart player for this EZG roster. He's got a player enemy right in front of him. A little bit of boosting back and forth. He's got to get this kill pretty soon because TK are now swarming. Yeah, and you can even see Nameless is going to be on a five streak, make that six right now. Finally, he gets taken down uh, by the hands of an EZG player, player Stumpy. Of course, Neslo going to be trying to work himself in the hill. He's going to get picked off as well. The kill feed just going back and forth, but TK, at least with that early control, uh, and of course, Nameless with that pick on Stumpy, going to be able to keep the spawns down for TK, looking pretty good on bar. EZG has been very, very impressive so far in this first rotation. They're holding on to a nice lead here. Team Caliber also did a phenomenal job of coming back and lessening that gap, which they desperately needed to do. You don't want to go into the second set of rotations with that big of a deficit, and they knew that right away. But in terms of slaying power, uh, nobody really standing out here for either team. I mean, Nameless coming up for his team with 15 kills. Also, Sharp going to put a 15er on the board as well. Kind of the same thing, the same story over on the EZG side, but this time, again, very nice rotation. It's going to be EZG there waiting for the new hill. Yeah, and you see Miyagi's already been able to pick up one. He's going to get the second on Nameless. Turnaround challenge for the third. Theory, though, going to be able to win that gunfight, but Click is going to be there for the trade. So EZG going to be able to retain control of the hill, of course. TK, though, flooding in the back. Lurd's coming to the front. He's able to pick up two. Now Stumpy going to get that cleanup kill on Nameless. So EZG with control. And, of course, this Attic Hill uh, is a hill that if you get a nice setup on, you can lock down for a decent portion of the time. And EZG trying to do exactly that. Very nice spot here for Miyagi. He knows that he's got some players around him. Spots one going to win that gunfight. Miyagi has been fire this entire time, not losing any gunfights. He's got two players in front of him, though. That one's going to be a hard one to win regardless. Theory 
with the precision shooting, going to pick up a two-piece of his own team caliber, fighting back, only down by 18 seconds. Of course, now EZG trying to push in the back, just trying to fight for this scrap time. Of course, something is going to be back there. He's going to get shut down by Sharp. Of course, Miyagi going to be that last one with that kill uh, by Nezlo. It does appear that that scrap time going to be going in favor of TK. But there you have it. Uh, after the first half, you do see an actual EZG lead, uh, but of course, only by four points, a very close game. And no surprise, it's been the rotation wins. There were more rotation wins from EZG than there were Team Caliber, but it's not about just being there first. It's about being able to lock it down. So now, finally, a Team Caliber lead, but it's very, very brief. EZG trying to maintain this one. And of course, Miyagi going to be that guy in the hill. He was getting stunned earlier, but he is fine now. Going to have players challenging. He's going to fall as well. That's all four down in favor of TK. TK going to have an opportunity to get the setup on this hill as well. Of course, Lurd going to be the first player to break it. He's going to be able to pick up the first two right away, getting in the hill to at least contest. And that's just going to cause all sorts of problems for TK. Uh, and you can see that they have been struggling to rack up any amount of substantial time in this hill. Of course, Nameless going to be able to pick up two, but then they're kind of right back, very back and forth on this hill. However, it does appear that the scrap time will be going in favor of EZ. Yeah, EZG has done a phenomenal job. They've had some really good spawns, but they've had some really good grenades as well. Not something that you typically praise a team for, but the grenades, the stuns have been on point so far in this one, really halting Team Caliber in terms of challenging those hard points. But now it's Miyagi picking up a few kills, looking for a third. Going to fall short in that situation there, but EZG doing a good job of milking this one out. Click, finally, seeming like he's found his home here at EZG. Yeah, of course, now that is going to be Click and the rest of the team that falls. So TK going to be successful with that break, which is very different from the story we saw the first time around uh, where Miyagi sat on the hill pretty much for the full 60 seconds. Of course, Miyagi going to be that player trying to strike back as well. He's going to get those Here's first two intro him. kills, and already uh, the counter break is going to come in EZG already with control. Of course, it's going to go back and forth, uh, and it looks like TK was eventually able to retain control. And Nezlo's going to have to lock this one down. They've got plenty of time left to take the lead in this hill. This second rotation, or this second to last, or third to last rotation, I should say, sorry, uh, is going to come in. Let's see who is maybe going to hit those those, uh, those rotations there. It looks like Miyagi and friends going to try to set that one up. Miyagi's actually got a player under him. Spots him. Going to land the shots. Very nice shooting there out of Miyagi. Sharp goes down. So now two members already set up on this new hill. It looks like EZG might be able to pull away with this, this uh, lead here. Of course, that's exactly what happened last time around where TK took a substantial amount of time on lobby. Of course, EZG trying to turn the table. Of course, Miyagi going to have to be a player that goes off. No. He's going to have three to his name already. Not going to be able to get that fourth. Sharp picks up two. Nameless picks up two. And that is going to be a successful break by TK. Uh, and now they're going to be able to take the lead. This is like the sixth or seventh time I think we've seen a lead change. But of course, TK uh, was behind the majority of the game. They're heating up late. Yeah, alert. Hopping on in, going to make some plays here for his team. The team shooting is real. Every member from EZG spotting that player and putting in shots. But that's a three members alive here for Team Caliber as they are flooding this hill with just around 15 seconds left to go in this one. TK trying to hold on to this tiny lead going into the last few hills now as some rotations coming in here. We'll hop on board with Miyagi as Miyagi and Stumpy picking up a few kills here. This is going to be crucial though. They've got to lock this bar hill down and it looks like Team Caliber, uh, they are going to have that one. Well, I mean, this is a hill that's kind of custom tailored to Nameless, and you can see Nameless doing the best for his team right now at 35 and 24, completely leading the lobby in terms of slang, still picking up kills as well, finally going to get shut down. But either way, TK, uh, this is the biggest lead. I think they've had this entire game. Of course, it's only going to be about 20 points between the two. But again, they started to show up a little bit late, but since then, uh, it's been that hashtag TK all day. Of course, Lurd is going to be able to pick up two to try to break in. That's going to clear some space. Click's going to get the next two, so it is going to be a successful break. Uh, but EZG going to start having the lockdown a good portion of time. Clicks the last one alive. He's going to fall exactly what TK needed to do. Got all four down. Complete control. Trying to get the scrap time as well. So it looks like EZG going to give this one last try to flood this hill and get a few points here as Miyagi is probably going to be the one rewarded these points. But now it's going to be Team Caliber already hitting this rotation, which was so crucial. This was the one that you could not miss out on. We have a few members from EZG looking like they are actually going to hit this flank, but Theory knows exactly where they should be coming from. Spots one actually is going to lose that gunfight. Sharp will lose it as well as Miyagi trying to stay alive in the hill. Now there's plenty of time for them to come back in this one, but things are coming down to the wire. 
course, about a 26-second differential between these two teams. 36 seconds left in this match. They are going to have to make a break, and they're going to have to make it quickly. Of course, Nameless going to be able to pick up two. Theory's going to get the next. Neslo still on the hill. TK all day. They're going to be able to win this matchup in a 3-1 fashion. Easy G did look very, very strong. However, it just was not enough in the end. Again, Nameless, when he's dropping 44 kills in a match, there's not much you can do. Uh, whenever someone from TK stepped up to the plate, they were able to just completely control uh, the entire game. Again, Nameless, you got to give this man some credit on those lines of sight. He absolutely takes over those rotation paths. It's so hard to beat a player like Nameless on hard point if you're not playing at your absolute best because he will tear down those rotations before they can even happen. Team Caliber coming up big in this one, winning 3-1, to one, but you got to show those EZG boys some love. They played very, very well. Yeah, without a doubt. And again, this is some of these players' first lands. And to be having to go against a team like TK yeah. for your first time on main stage is absolutely terrifying. And uh, TK pretty much exemplified why, again, there was three games where they had at least one player completely going off. Neslo tearing it up the first two. Nameless showing up in the last one. Uh, TK, again, just completely structured overall. Of course, the uplink might need to work on a little bit. But again, didn't make a difference in the end. And they will be moving on to round number uh Four, I think, with yep. a perfect record. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, TK, no surprises there. That's going to be nameless, ending with a 1.5 KD, six caps. Uh, Neslo doing the objective work again, 11 caps out of him. So, in that series, that was 24 captures for him in hard point. Very, very strong hard point performance there. And on the other side, EZG, they're going to be falling down to the loser's bracket, but we've seen loser's bracket runs. And this team, out of all the teams that have probably lost up to this point, I think are my favorites. I agree. Definitely going to be a team to watch. Of course, next up on main stage, I believe we are going to be having Envy going against Vanquish. And of course, yep. this is the first match that we have ever seen a single map get dropped by the team that was in the lead uh, on main stage. So again, they're going to be getting more interesting and more interesting as the tournament goes on. So potentially uh, going to see another very tough matchup. Uh, of course, whether or not Vanquish uh, is able to bring their A game to the table remains to be seen. Yeah. Well, guys. We're going to throw it off to a quick commercial break, but when we come back, we got some more open bracket action here in Detroit, Michigan. Make sure you're tweeting us your predictions at MES Events using that hashtag MES25K. You guys, don't go anywhere. 